Marlins playing host to the Mets. It is the second of a four-game weekend set. The Fish facing Oliver Perez on Friday night. For Ollie, he's allowed only one home run this season. That would change against the Fighting Fish. Bottom of the third, no score, no more. Dan Ugla, a three-run shot, his seventh of the season. The Marlins now up a field goal, it's 3 to nothing. Later in that inning, more from Florida's O. Cameron Maven, the single. That plays Cody Ross, and the Fish now have a 4 to nothing lead. But wait, there's more. Bottom of the fourth, Chris Coughlin at the dish. 90-mile-an-hour fastball. He turns that one around to right center field. Hits it deep. Frank Core back. Looking up. Gone! Coughlin is first. Sure, it gives the Marlins a 5 nothing lead, but the significance, it's the first home run by a left-handed batter this season for the Marlins. Very next batter is Gabby Sanchez. He's a righty, but it has the same effect. The solo shot is fourth of the season. The Marlins jumping all over Perez. It's now 6 to nothing. Later in the inning, more from Dan O'Gill. And get Milton Bradley in return. That ball's a rocket. Oh, get that out of here. Out of here. Twice tonight, his name is Dan Ugla. His second of the night, eighth of the season. The Marlins up a touchdown. It's now seven to nothing. Plenty of support for Annabelle Sanchez, trying to even his record at two and two. Top of the fifth, had a seven nothing lead. Here's the Mets, only two runs on the day. Angel Pagan, a two run single. Ike Davis, Rod Barajas both score. The Marlins lead is cut to seven to two, but that's as close as New York would get. Top of the ninth, Gary Matthews Jr. flies out to center field, and that will put it in the books. The final is 7-2. Sanchez gets that second win. Seven innings, four hits, two earned, seven Ks. Two hits each for Maven, Ugla, Ramirez, and Sanchez.